the new American Girl doll retro fridge. It retails for $150 and it's part of Mary Ellen's collection. As you can see when it's closed up, it's a nice size fridge. This is nice and sturdy. It is a very heavy piece. This is not plastic. The entire body of the fridge is metal, so that puts some weight on it. And then the inside of the fridge, it does have plastic pieces to it. It looks very authentic. And I love how they added the American Girl emblem to the front of the fridge and how they have it on the plastic piece inside the front door as well. Very cute, it's like the American Girl brand. The freezer is inside the fridge. It does have its separate door, but you do have to open the fridge door to get to the freezer. And this is very authentic as well. It's just how they had it back in Mary Ellen's day. And it's a little tiny, but they were smaller back then. It has the little knobs that don't turn or move. And then on the back of the door, it has a tray for your butter and also a tray for other freezer items. And then once again, everything inside the fridge is plastic. So this door and the container, it's all plastic. So no metal pieces on the inside of the freezer or the fridge. Just close it right up. And I love the details in the plastic. Here's the inside of the fridge door. As you can see, there's a tray. So you can just put condiments and soda pops in and then a tray for the eggs. Now unfortunately the eggs don't come out of the egg tray. There are two empty spaces. It would have been nice to at least have those two eggs come out but the eggs are just for show so you can't take them out when you want to set up a baking scene. And then here at the bottom of the fridge you have a pull out drawer. It's labeled produce so this is for your fruits and your veggies. Unfortunately, there's no produce that was included in this set, so it's going to be empty for now until we can add our own apples and lettuce and maybe some cucumbers. But with the set, it's going to stay empty until you can add your own produce. Now here we have all the refrigerated food items. So here is the ham. It is sliced open. And it is painted nicely so you can see the dimension in the ham and it has the marks on the top of the ham. It has a beautiful maybe kale garnish underneath. It is attached to the platter so you can't take the ham off and there are no individual servings. It's just one ham. Here is a beautiful casserole dish. I love this casserole dish. It has a lid. It has mixed veggies in it. Those aren't the best just because they kind of look painted. It just looks like an orange blob with some yellow and green painted dots on there, but the dish is beautiful. Here is a gelatin cake. I think that's what they're called, a gelatin mold. It just looks like a big blob of jello. And I've actually never had one, but the shape is pretty cool. It looks like it was chilled in some fancy shape and then flipped onto the plate. And then we have four jars of condiments. So you have your English mustard. Oh, can you see that? So it's the yellow mustard inside. The lids do not come off of these jars. Here is the relish, kosher relish, so it's green. And then we have a strawberry jam, and then a grape jam or jelly, grape jelly. And I've actually made printables for jelly already. I just haven't made any jelly jars yet, so we'll have to make some of these soon. And then here you have two bottles of pasteurized milk. So these are pretty cool. They are plastic, just like everything else so far. There's been nothing that's glass. And then four soda pops. And it says on there soda, and they're orange, and it has the little American Girl star on it. So perfect size for your dolls and to stick in the fridge. And then here are all of the freezer items. So we have four sticks of butter. They don't have wrappers on them. It's just a block of plastic and then the butter is just written on there. Then you have an ice tray and when you lift up the handle, the ice does pop out of the tray, which I've never seen that before. So if the old fashioned ice trays are like that, that's pretty cool. My daughter said we need ice trays like that today. Here you have a box of ice pops. And these boxes were really hard for me to get open. So it was definitely hard for the kids to get open. So I had to go ahead and open some of these before I showed you. And there's only one, one popsicle 
in the Ice Pops box. So only enough for Mary Ellen, not enough to share. Then you have the frozen TV dinners. Now these are probably gonna be the most popular out of everything in the set. Who doesn't love a cute doll sized TV dinner? And like I said, it was pretty hard to get these boxes open, so I already had them open before. So it didn't take me forever to show you. The food does not come out of the tray. The chicken looks good. And then you have mashed potatoes and mixed veggies on the chicken TV dinner. And here we have the macaroni. Again, the food does not come out of the tray. So you have the macaroni, the peas, and the carrots. And then you have a beef. This is the beef and gravy TV dinner. Mixed veggies and peas. And notice all the veggies have a little slice of butter in them. So they're really cute though. The idea of having TV dinners for your dolls is awesome. And then of course you can't have the TV dinners without the TV dinner trays. So it comes with a stand. It is plastic, it's not metal. So that's the stand and it has a place for both the TV dinner trays to hang on while the tray is on, see? So you can hang it on both sides. And the tray and the legs, everything is plastic. So there are no metal pieces or wooden pieces to this part of the set. Here's the tray. Underneath it has uh, little spots where you can just pop on the legs. So you just set it up and then match it up and you just pop it on. It's very easy to pop on and off and adjust it and then it's really easy to put it on to hang it up on the stand also. So that's the TV dinner tray. It has a cute little Mary Ellen design and the dinner fits on there nicely and a drink. The only downside is there was no silverware included in this set. So I don't know how the dolls are gonna eat their TV dinners. Okay, let's set it all up, see how it fits inside the retro fridge, and give this video a thumbs up if you want us to make American Girl Doll TV dinners.